Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Kevin. I'm the founder and owner of survivalistboards.com. If you're not a member, go over there and get signed up. There was a comment on one of my videos. I think it was the Trump, what Trump means to preppers video. I, I, I apologize, I forgot your name, your, your screen name on YouTube. Anyway, he said that prepping will fade away. And I said, that's a good topic. Prepping is politically motivated. Or whether it is a response to political times and certain events, certain current events, such as the swine flu. Y'all remember the swine flu? I mean, there was a surge in forum membership after the swine flu came out. It's that the, whenever there's an event like that, people respond to it. And that now that the world peace, I mean, we haven't had a world war in a long time, things are looking good, that prepping will slowly fade away. And I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree. I agree somewhat that prepping is, is a little politically motivated and that it, it does respond to certain events like the swine flu, but prepping is also a, is a instinct. It is a built-in instinct that we all have. As y'all know, I'm a big fan of history. read everything from medieval times all the way back to Neanderthals. Is that we have an instinct. You cannot go hundreds of thousands of years of worrying about food, worrying about where you're going to sleep, to suddenly forgetting that whenever it's been hard-coded in our genes. Our ancestors prepped every way they could. They watched the flocks, they, I mean, or the herds. They watched the flocks, birds migrating. They watched the seasons. They watched the sun. They were in tune to changes in their environment. So prepping to them, observing their environment, was a way of life. And that is hard-coded in our genetics. That is, that is like hard-coded into us to worry about where we're going to get our next meal, to worry about where we're going to sleep, to worry about our family. That's who we are. So prepping is not going to fade away simply because it is hard-coded. It's hard-coded into us. Anybody says, well, I'm not a prepper. Well, you owe your life to a prepper 10, 20, 30, 50, 100,000 years ago. Because they were storing the meat. They were trying to preserve their food, not storing the meat. They were trying to preserve their food any way they can. They watched the flocks. They watched the herds. They were preppers by instinct. Hunter-gatherers, to say. And then we moved from a hunter-gatherer to an agriculture-based society. But it's hard-coded in it. So it's no. No, prep, prepping is not going to fade away because it is, is built into us. It's built into us to store food. To have our food, our little food stockpiles and have our relationships with our family and our network. It's, it's who we are. Anyway, guys and gals, God bless. I'll talk to y'all later.